watcher. When did you last hear someone say that? We used to say it at school all the time. This is the Triumph Bonneville T120 Black, and I'm gonna give you my impressions about this very fine motorcycle. I've come to this very beautiful location today in the middle of the Snowdonia National Park in Wales. It's absolutely stunning. It's a lovely day. Uh, there's a lot of motorcyclists out today riding around, which is great to see. And what a perfect place to come and ride a motorcycle. That's what motorcycling is all about. I've ridden all the Triumph Bonnevilles uh, many times, and I've really sussed it out with this one. I've got it down now to a fine point about what these Bonnevilles are all about. The Triumph T120 is one of many in the Triumph modern classic range. And to understand what the modern classics, the Bonnevilles, are all about, is really to see it as a modern motorcycle with all the up-to-date technology, a very refined engine and gearbox, good brakes, good handling. It does everything really, really well, yet it has a classic style to it. So it really is a modern motorcycle in a classic style. And if you get that point, you'll understand what these bikes are all about. It does everything very well. It's got a water-cooled engine, of course, with a radiator at the front, but it looks air-cooled, so that's what I was saying. Going back to the styling is very classic, uh, but underneath it's a very modern motorcycle. A good gear change, very slick, very smooth, very easy. Good stopping power with double disc brakes. The suspension's fine, you can upgrade it, of course. Got a lovely flat bench seat, very comfortable. At six foot two, I find the riding position to be very nice. Uh, my arms have got plenty of room, but my legs aren't too bent. Uh, and you can move backwards and forwards on the nice bench seat, so that's great. I like that. You've got the pea shooter exhaust, one either side, and it sounds quite nice too. Another little detail you may notice here is what looks like a carburetor, but in fact it's a cover covering the fuel injection and the air intake from the airbox here. Uh, that's just another one of those little details uh, that gives it that classic look. Uh, but as I said, it's really a modern motorcycle underneath. I would say that the Triumph T120 is the perfect all-rounder. It's great for commuting. You've got fairly narrow handlebars, so it's good at lane filtering, getting in and out of traffic, no problem whatsoever. It's very good on the motorway. It's got tons of torque and tons of power, so you can cruise at uh, legal speeds easily and go a lot faster if you want to. When you get to somewhere like this, somewhere pretty, somewhere beautiful, little narrow country lanes, it's perfectly all right on as well. Uh, and it will sort of fairly happily go along at low RPM, sort of 2000-ish, ticking over and uh, exploring the countryside without having to go crazy. But if you want to open it up and feel some speed, it's also a very fast motorcycle. And it would be just as at home on a track day, for instance, as it would burbling around the country like today. If you wanted to just own one motorcycle that does pretty much everything, then this is the bike for you because it does exactly that. Um, Triumph do, of course, very many different uh, connotations of the Bonneville. You've got the Scramblers, uh, the small, medium and large ones, if you like. Some of them are more off-road biased and halfway between and then more road biased like this. Uh, but if you don't want to go off-road, and I don't particularly, to be honest, even though I came from a motocross background, I'm not particularly keen on going off-road. This bike will do 
pretty much anything you throw at it. Uh, it's not so low to the ground that you're going to ground it on everything like the Speedmaster. So it'll come down lanes like this with no effort whatsoever. Uh, it'll go down a farm track, and I have done, it's, it's fine. It'll go on the motorway, it'll go on everything beautifully. So it really is the perfect all-rounder, if you ask me. Um, if you've got one of these, tell me if you would agree with that. And it's pretty cool looking as well, isn't it? Very nice looking bike, very stylish. But in terms of a roadster, a road bike that will go anywhere, do anything, this is the one. Um, you've got the Triumph T100, which looks similar with a little bit less power with a 900cc engine, uh, which I think is a lovely bike. It's a, it's a sweet spot for me. Uh, but if you want to open it up a bit more and have a bit more acceleration, a bit more power and a bit more top speed, then this is the one for you. Now, today's quite a nice hot summer's day, even though the uh, sun's behind the clouds at the moment. And riding here to this position, stopping at various places on the way, you do feel when you stop the heat coming off the engine. It's very, very hot. The, the Bonnevilles do feel hot when you stop, especially the ones with the scramble pipes up high. Um, and it's a water-cooled bike, so that heat is being transferred to the air outside and you do feel it. Um, but it's not unpleasantly so, uh, and obviously once you're moving, that's not noticeable. In terms of practicality, you've got quite a small front mudguard, as many modern bikes do. And when the roads are wet or dirty, the bike's going to get caked in filth, and so are you. So that could be easily solved if they went back to the 1960s design of the full mudguard, and that would look beautiful too on a Bonneville. Uh, let me know if you agree with me there. Um, other than that, you can buy accessories for these bikes uh, with panniers on the on the side, so you've got uh, luggage capacity for long journeys. Uh, Freddie rode his all the way to Africa, didn't he, recently? So it just shows it can be done. They're fabulous bikes, so they'll do anything, and you can make it what you want. The price in the UK is £11,795, and check in your country what the prices are there. The T120 produces 78.9 brake horsepower at 6,550 RPM and 105 newton metres of torque or 77 foot pounds at 3,500 RPM, which is nice because that comes out quite low in the rev range, which allows you to sort of burble around when you want to. Uh, but when you twist the throttle, that torque's there to propel you into the future. Um, it does 60 miles per gallon, that's UK miles per gallon, which is pretty good. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds there. You've got plenty of power, uh, but also good fuel economy. I think it's much nicer to come out to places like this on a motorcycle rather than in a car because on a motorcycle you have that wonderful sense of freedom. You feel the air temperature, you smell the smells as you go past. I went through this little tiny village and I smelt cider. They must have had a cider press, pressing apples and making cider. Oh, it's wonderful. You get that uh, with a motorcycle, you don't get that in a car. Uh, you're very much in tune with your environment on a motorcycle, much more so. And you can stop off at places like this, nip down to the little stream, put your feet in and have a paddle. It's a wonderful experience. So you can't beat motorcycling. It is great and I love it. And why not do it on something as nice as a Triumph T120 Bonneville?